Okay, so I want to start off and just show you this diagram here on how this is going to work. This will really simplify the process of hooking this guy up. So you can see right here, this is the module. And then what you're going to get is you're actually going to get two different setups here. And that's because these 22 pin connectors are different. So you're just going to need to figure out which one is going to match up with your Jeep. So then this is the way this works. So this guy right here is going to plug directly into your factory Jeep harness right here. Boom. That plugs into the factory harness. This guy is going to plug into this right here. Boom. And then once that's all hooked up right there, you'll have this guy. And this is going to plug in on the back end of the control box and on the back of your radio. And this is a Pioneer MVH 2300 NEX. This piece right here will plug in right back there. And what that's going to do, it's going to allow us to use the steering wheel controls. And then all you have to do is you're going to take your radio harness that comes with your radio, it plugs into the back of the radio here, and you're simply just going to match up these wires together. Okay, so let's talk about what each of these wires are. Let's, let's start with the basic. The red is going to be your on when you turn the key on. Black is going to be your negative. Right? Those are pretty simple. The yellow that you're going to hook up to the radio harness is that is your constant power from the battery. That's what's going to keep your presets loaded. And then also what this does is that way when you turn the key off, it doesn't delete everything that you've saved on there. So those are your main three right there. And then of course you have your different speaker options. And just to kind of run through these really quickly here. So green and green and black. That's going to be your left rear, and the green and black is negative, the solid green is positive. Do not get that confused with the navigation outputs, because these right here are going to be used if you have navigation or you need to install a backup system or anything like that. And we're just going to talk about just how to get this going here the easiest way. Then you have the purple, purple and black, so solid purple is positive purple and black is negative that's going to be your right rear then you have your white and white black let's see if i can show you that white and white black solid white is positive white black is negative that's left front and then you have gray and gray black solid gray is positive gray black is negative and this is your right front then you will have something here you'll have two different blue wires. So let's talk about these blue wires here. So you have a blue and white wire. That is your amp on. And the solid blue, I think, is, is for your like power antennas, and most of your vehicles are not going to use those. So blue and white, again, is your amp. The orange and white, that is going to be your illumination output so like if you turn your lights on it'll automatically sometimes depending on what system you have will dim the radio and that's it that's this is as simple as it gets with this now some of you and i'll do a video on this on how to bypass the parking brake for video but just for this video here i just wanted to show you the schematics of how easy this is and so that's it that's all you're going to do the hardest part is going to be just matching these two up here the rest of it if you look at my diagram Again, this plugs right into the back of the radio. This guy right here plugs into the back of this. You don't have to worry about cutting any of your canvas wires on your stock harness. You shouldn't have to cut any of those wires at all. In fact, all you're going to need to do is just wire these guys up based upon the colors that match.